Hi, it's Dawn here at Stickle Tarn. Um, and uh, today I'm just, just doing a quick video on uh, preparing for winter or what we're doing to prepare for winter. Um, autumn has snuck in the back door and uh, leaves are dropping off the trees. Uh, there's a definite change in temperature. Uh, although, as you can see, the sun is still shining. Um, but yeah, winter is just around the corner. Um, knocking on the door, so it's time to get ready uh, for our winter preps. So, let me show you some of the things we're, we're getting done. All right, first up for me, every winter, I buy myself a new pair of boots. Uh, wearing boots is part of the uniform around here and uh, they'll just be worn daily throughout winter, spring, most of autumn. Um, now I always go for these ones which have got a neoprene top because they don't chaff, chaff the tops of my legs. They're bendable, stretchable, waterproof, uh, rubberized bottom. They've got quite a good instep to them and quite a good grippy sole. So each year I treat myself to a new pair of boots and my old pair um, I will continue to wear but they always seem to go at this bit at the back where you're pulling them um, to get them on and off and when mine go I generally cut them down into clogs and then just wear them nipping out into the garden for something. So I get a good couple of years out of them. And long winter, ladies, long winter wool blend socks. Um, I've got six pairs of them. So um, there's, and they'll come right up inside my boots and help keep me warm. Um, it, the thermal insoles, I always buy in plenty of uh, thermal insoles. And, uh, and I usually get them end of spring when they're being reduced and I put them away ready for winter. The winter feed is now all in for the buffalo. Uh, a sure sign that winter is coming although we won't be bringing them in until December and we won't have to start feeding them until then. So we've got a lovely sunny evening, early autumn the log stores. Let's go off and have a look. This is all um, mainly, well not this pile, no, this pile here, no, not this pile here. This pile here will be split and used this year because it's ash. No, it's not, it's pine. Hmm. I was under the assumption we were getting ash, but never mind. We've got some more. That's all ash sitting there. There's ash under that tarpaulin in there. This is all. All the loose here is ash, which is waiting to be moved through into the log store. And this is all the start of uh, next year's wood logs. So we're, uh, yeah, and there's some more stacked up here. And let me just show you the log store. Oh, look, we've got slows out. Uh, to tell Martin so he can get his slow gin on the go. And blackberries are just coming to the end. The nuts, we've still got some nuts on the trees. Um, not a lot though. We have been gathering them and feeding them to the pigs. So, uh, yeah, there's still a few, few clusters there, but we're ready to start um, cutting the hedging back now. And also for this 
winter we've got extra water containers that'll give us an extra 4,000 litres they'll all be interlinked together so they fill from the far end one there and then that will fill into there down to there and down to there so surprisingly winter we do um yeah we, we go through a fair amount of water let me turn the light on <coughs> so this log store here is full that one is about half full so these are the, the log bays and this is all little bits of wood that we use for fire starting etc so yep so we're getting there almost ready right this morning there um martin is trimming back some of the branches the overhanging branches that are getting caught up in delivery lorries when we have them come here yeah This will be taken down yeah, to the goats and the pigs, etc., to munch through. And then next job is that branch up there, which is getting caught up in overhead telephone cables. All right, it wasn't safe to get the ladder up to cut these branches down, so Martin is building a scaffold tower on the back of one of the lights. So boys enjoying some of the branches that we're taking down we've uh, i've got more to bring down to them yet but they do enjoy the branches and as you can see they strip them right back they strip back all the bark all of these have got to come out this week and um yeah they strip back all the bark is uh, quite good as well. Our well, mornings now, um, well, every morning, we're collecting up all the acorns of the trees for the piggies. We've just thrown them in some oak branches. Um, we scatter the acorns around their run for them to forage for. In amongst the leaves, trimming up some overhanging um, so we just brought them over for them this morning. And the pigs really love the acorns and we collect the hazelnuts for them as well. Fallen. And it's just all part of their natural diet. There you go. 